I see this gap all the time between what's being written about in kind of the management theory circles. I mean, they've been writing about this sort of thing for years, but it's been so incredibly hard to actually start to live it. Right. right? It's, it's almost like we're 30 years behind often. Right. But if you think about where a lot of the capital is coming to fund a lot of these businesses, banks, certainly private equity companies, you don't hear a lot of talk about empowerment mm. and um, teamwork and collaboration. You may hear it. Mm. It may be in the value statement on the wall. Mm. But when the board, when the door's shut, mm. it is not a part of that conversation. It is, this is your responsibility and you need to fix it. And, mm. you know, where were you at 7 o'clock this morning? And mm. blah, 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 blah. You know, and everyone's, I, I find it amazing. Everyone's like, we don't understand why women aren't higher up. And I can tell you exactly why they're not. You know, you put that type of either um, implicit or explicit framework on people, and I think most women opt out, yeah. including me. Yeah. That's not that's not the intentional life that I want to lead, mm -hmm. and I say that's probably true for ninety-five percent of women men, uh, who have families, and and maybe hopefully mm -hmm. men as well. I have been fortunate enough to be in CEO groups. I'm in one now where there's six percent women mm -hmm. out of 130 members. And phenomenal people, but the underlying assumption is more of, oh, you know, this, you know, you want to, you want to lead a jazz ensemble? Oh, I, I mean, there's just a, it's, it's not the, um, it, it's, it's just not the reigning uh, way people think. And you'll, I, I, I was fortunate enough to, to talk at one of Rebecca's classes that she's leading on kind of open systems management. And I was so excited to see these 30 students so interested mm. in um, kind of different types of leadership. And so yeah. it gave me great hope that, um, but I think it's, uh, I guess I'm also a realist that, and I guess that's, if you started this long one away about a legacy, I would just love uh, to be a part of Merida and hopefully uh, other businesses with, with whom we work of growing and, and being big enough to have a seat at the table hmm. so that you can we can have this conversation right. you know do I know that you can run small to medium-sized businesses this way I absolutely do know that yeah. I did it my previous job I, uh, but can you know can you can you have a seat at that table hmm. so that the conversation does shift from just ideas and management books to like no, we can really, and we can do something globally about this. And there's.